Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and they continue with post mortem blind. Now, I'm here at the doctor's office, and I'm supposed to talk to him, I guess, about the autopsies of the victims, right? Uh, but first, let's snoop around the said office, uh, even though it's kinda rude. There isn't much choice in where I'm even able to move, so... So, you are investigating the incident at the Hotel Hoffe? Yes, Doctor. Your professional opinion on the murders. Did Inspector LeBrun send you, Mr. McPherson? Uh, not quite, and I guess I don't have any other option than to say I'm a private detective, which is a bit annoy. It annoys me a little that the protagonist seems unable to keep his story straight. I can't use the same uh, sort of line of thinking in every conversation, which makes me, th which makes me not credible and also a bit like deranged. If you were to combine all of the different stories that I told different people already. I'm not going to lie that he did send me because he didn't, and that's actually pretty easy to check. I'm a private eye. A private detective? Then someone is showing an interest in the White's murder. The person who wishes to remain anonymous is paying me to investigate. We all have a reputation to protect. Appearances can sometimes be deceptive, Dr. Kovner. That's why I would like to clarify this situation by gathering as much information as possible. I am at your disposal, Mr. McPherson. How can I help you? What can you tell me about the scene of the crime? The police have released very few details. That a man who committed this murder, and I stress the fact that he is a man, is probably quite overwhelmed at the present time. This crime was committed under the influence of a sudden impulse, without premeditation. His act is now haunting him. He is not himself. How, how can you know that? What? Is he, is he a psychic as well? Like, how can he know his actual state of mind? Is this the evidence found at the scene of the murder that will enable you to draw your conclusions? Sequential repetition of habits. The cure for hysterical behavior is by elimination of the source of anguish. I am just a psychoanalyst, Mr. McPherson. It is the job of the police to draw conclusions, not mine. What do you make of the coin found in the victim's mouths? Do you know, Mr. McPherson, that in antiquity, superstition had it that we should pay Sharon, the boatman of Hades, by placing a coin in the mouth of the dead? These ancient myths are buried deep in our unconscious and resurface when we are overcome by hysteria. Fascinating, isn't it? All that is symbolic, Mr. McPherson. The murderer himself probably doesn't even know. Like all symbols, it is up to us to interpret them. You are implying that the murderer is a victim too, Dr. Kaufman. We are all victims of the secrets of our soul, Mr. McPherson. This criminal is no exception. We are all victims of our past. And do you have a suspect, Mr. McPherson? Uh, well, I, I think it's too early to tell. If 
I had a suspect, I would not be here, Dr. Kaufman. It has been a most pleasant conversation, but unfortunately, I cannot afford you more time, Mr. McPherson. I hope I have satisfied your curiosity. Well, actually, not quite, and... I am very busy, sir. You should speak to Inspector Lebrun for more detailed information. And in fact, I'm a bit salty that I didn't ask the question about the powder, because that's, you know, I knew the uh, sort of uh, folkloric significance. I, as a player, knew the folkloric significance of... Uh, uh, of placing coins in the mouth of the dead uh, to pay for uh, crossing the river Styx. Uh, I I knew that, I just asked it because I wanted to have it reaffirmed by the characters, but the, the part with the powder, I was not actually sure. That, that I think that would have been a more useful information, but I just didn't think... I thought I would be able to ask them both, you know? Most of the time in the past, uh, you were able to, to ask most of the questions included. Let's try getting to Lebron. Maybe if I... Great. Here is the pen pusher giving it another go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do have information. Uh, which is mostly that I have a portrait which they might want to use. Uh, I've got some information on the Orfe murders. Exceptional information. Fresh info? You are better informed than us, are you? If you have no objection. I would rather talk about this with Inspector Lebrun alone. If you want to speak to him, you have to confide in me first, Sonny. Uh, well, okay, have a look at that. I have some fabulous new information on the Orfe case. A portrait of the killer. Here, look. My God, I do not believe it. Let me warn Inspector Lebrun immediately. Do you recognize him? Wait, do you know who he is? You. Eloin? Jacques Eloin? It's impossible. Eloin. The name rings a bell. If only I could see that vision again. Control that vision. If only... The Inspector would like to see you immediately. Hmm, okay. But do I have the portrait still? So I would need it, right? To give it to the inspector. Hmm. Okay, I assume I have it. Come in, dear sir, come in. Okay, he, he doesn't have one of those cork boards with uh, uh, photos connected by pieces of string. I am disappointed. McPherson, right? You are uh, a journalist? Time to waste either, Inspector. I've got some news on the White case. I'm listening, McPherson. Go on, fire away. I... I have a portrait of a suspect. A suspect who may very well be the guilty party. Where is this uh, portrait from, McPherson?
What if I am mistaken? What if this man is not the suspect? Give me more details about the case, and I'll tell you what I know. McPherson, you are not really in a position to make deals, huh? Before I showed up, your suspect had no face, Inspector Lebrun. Okay, McPherson. Say I do know him. Does that get you any further ahead? The portrait. You say you know who it looks like. That means he's a known criminal. He has a record. Who is it? Jacques Elouin. He is a private eye, an ex-cop. He lives in the 11th district, and he is in big trouble. The White Case. Why don't you give me more information? The public could help you, and you could use this portrait to officially issue a description of a wanted person. You are very naive, Mr. McPherson. This man is incredibly dangerous. Our specialist, uh, Dr. Koffner, has informed us that the ritualistic nature of this murder could provoke severe psychosis in the mind of the public. Like in London at the turn of the century. What? Uh, uh, those, those dialogue options seem to not follow any logical structure from the dialogue itself. Uh, how come I'm asking about whether he's killed again? It has not been alluded What? I don't understand that. He's killed again? Who's dead? Theo Mallet, the former doorman at the Orphée. Do you know him, Mr. McPherson? I... I talked to him last night. It was he, uh, Mallet. Mallet fled as I was showing him the portrait of the suspect. What you are telling me only serves to prove his guilt. Now you have what you want. Make yourself scarce. I need to think. Goodbye, McPherson. Can't you see I'm busy? Come back later, McPherson. Okay. Anything deeper in the corridor? Hmm. Not quite. It would be better if you spoke to Inspector Lebrun directly. I will show you in immediately. I do not want to be mixed up in all this. No thanks, it's not for me. Way too complicated. Mm, okay. Uh, before I go to Halloween's office, uh, I will go back to the hotel. You again! Sir, I have nothing more to say to you. Because I have a set of lockpicks that I can hopefully use to lockpick this door. Come back later. I need to rest. Of course the door is locked. The front desk clerk is hardly likely to open it for me. I must find a way to get in. Of course the door is locked. Hmm. The front desk clerk is hardly likely to open it for me. I must find a way to get in. Ah, okay.
Hmm. So how do I know if I'm making progress or not? Okay, this hit on its own or, or didn't it? Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, that was pretty interesting because it seemed that he put the coins in their mouths while they still lived and then chopped their heads off. Because I don't remember anymore really that well, but wasn't it implied by the police report that he decapitated them uh, with one strike while they were still alive? And that's what killed them. Yeah, it was mentioned that she uh, has recently dyed her hair.
wait, that's stupid, Th that's a whole different room. Why do they all have doors that go to the other room with another number, where, where supposedly other guests would have lived? It strikes me as dumb. Yeah, that's just a whole different... what? That's a stupid idea. Also, what's even the point of this particular room? Seemingly, I cannot close in on the actual like blood stains and the actual gore from uh, from the uh, from the room itself. Like that, that, that seems to me like it would be the most important uh, thing, right? Confused. Hmm. Okay, I want, I'll go to the psychic and see if come back later. I need to rest. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, the su su surprisingly little uh, surprisingly little in this room, seemingly, which seems like a stupid thing, uh, seeing how uh, this is the room where um, uh, where the actual freaking murder uh, took place, like. For example, this is the strange powder. You'd think uh, they would... Mm, you'd think they would... Um, collect like samples of it or whatever. Like, I I'm a bit put off by how... Uh, like how little there is in this mm, uh, in this room 
by uh, in comparison to how supposedly important like it should be by all account Whew. smells like ether only stronger and my head is spinning hmm okay so at the very least I can take it's just it's rather unwieldy the like the the, the the path to get there is a bit illogical it seems to me or because like I wanted to get closer to the to the bed itself but apparently I can't it smells like ether only stronger and my head is spinning Like for example, I think checking the drawers would be like an important thing, but, but I can't even get closer. I am still weirded out by how inconsequential this room is, all things considered. Literally, what's the point of this room? space uh, because especially the other room um, because it's weird that there's seemingly nothing here but I like I don't know where to even look like I'm try trying to click at a lot of different things and not much is really happening so I'm a bit confused as to what exactly am I supposed to be freaking doing. Uh, it, it especially seems weird to me that uh, it would not Like, like there, there would be nothing in here uh, other than well, actually, other than there was literally nothing in this room, and in the other there was only the ring and the the strange powder. I feel I'm probably missing something obvious here. I wonder if this is a game in which you can like deadlock yourself. That 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 is a problem with some of the older games where you can reach a failed state in which you simply cannot progress, but technically you also don't lose. Mm. And I, and I guess there is also a possi possibility of blaming the wrong guy, because if, you know, this is an investigation game, so um, it should be... Um, it should be uh, possible, theoretically, to blame the wrong person, right? Uh, for the murders. Okay, I think I'm going. I guess maybe I'll come back later. Okay, 
Okay, I have a nagging feeling I must have missed something, but I don't know where else to look. Like, I've been, you know, looking at that room for like 10 minutes or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to just save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.